Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today doing a quick video, I want to go over some of the tips and tricks of the LG Stylo. Very popular phone, a lot of people have it, but do they know all that you can actually do with it? So the first tip I'm going to go over is uh, a very simple one. It's going to take place in the notification panel, which is right up here. And so you have all these cool switches, right? Things that you, your shortcuts to get to, um, but you may want to organize these in a different way. So for example, you may not use Quick Memo that often, but maybe you use, I don't know, Bluetooth or GPS or um, even the flashlight, right? So by hitting edit right here, you're actually able to change the order of those notifications so you can have the things that are more important to you to be at the beginning when you first swipe down. So. For example, I want battery saver mode to be higher up. So if the battery is getting low, I can, you know, just hit that really quickly. Um, and you know what? I use Bluetooth a lot, so I'm going to move that up too. Move that down. Auto rotation and location. And so now that I've just reorganized them, when I swipe down, normally, okay, swipe down. And now the first five are the apps that are most important to me. So just by you being able to uh, reorder them, it allows the phone to be a little bit easier to use because now the things you use the most are going to be right in front of you. Now also, we hit edit again. You can turn some of these off. So maybe you say, you know what, gosh, I don't even know. I never turn my data off, so I don't want that to be an option. I'm going to uncheck that. Or maybe you say, I never fly. I don't want airplane mode to be there. No problem. Uncheck it. And now when you swipe back down again, you'll notice that you don't even have airplane mode in this section anymore. Okay. So that's the first little tip. I know it's not very exciting, but I think it just makes using the phone definitely a lot you know, easier and more custom to what you're going to use more, uh, most. All right, so our second little tip here is on the back of the phone, you have your volume up and volume down, which are right in the middle of just the power button. Now, just by holding down, so holding on the volume down, which is again right under the this button, if we hold down, it will quick launch your camera. Hey, there's my brother. What up, man? So that's a really cool feature. So now when you want to take a quick picture, no need to, um, you know, have to turn the phone on and unlock it and go to camera. You just hold down that volume down button and that's going to quick launch you to the camera. Now, it'd be kind of silly if there was only one shortcut on the volume down and not volume up, right? But guess what? There is. So if I hold volume up and remember, this is when the phone is off. Okay, so you can't just hold it whenever. But so if phone is off, I'm going to hold volume up and watch what happens. It's a quick launch to quick memo. So this is another really cool thing. You have to take a quick note. Maybe you're in class. The teacher's like, oh, hey, I got this homework. Or you're trying to jot something down in a meeting. Now you've got a quick shortcut right to your memo app. You can take that memo and, you know, you can draw or you can type. You know, it's up to you. And then when you're done, you can just save it. And there it is, that easy. So that's our next little tip right there. Just volume up and down. That's going to be your shortcut. Um, and if yours doesn't do that, um, all the stylos do it. It's a matter of turning on the settings. So upper right corner, settings wheel. Um, go to shortcut key. And that's going to be all the way at the bottom. So just go all the way to the bottom, shortcut key, and make sure this is turned on. And then you'll be able to use your volume up and down for a shortcut to your camera and to your memo. All right. So our next uh, little tip is going to be, it's a shortcut to getting to settings in general. As you guys have seen in this video, I normally swipe down, I hit settings. But there's, a, there's an easier way to do it, which is just holding the square right here and then just tap on system settings. 
So that's a little bit of a faster way to get there than always having to swipe down from the top. Especially when you're holding the phone with one hand, it's gonna be harder to swipe down or even go to settings first. So I just like that as a shortcut. Definitely wanted to show that. All right, so our next um, tip is going to be just by holding down the circle, it will automatically launch Google Now. So you actually put your finger on the circle and then you move it up. And he's got something special. So I'm just gonna tap Google and then I'm gonna, and there it is, okay? So this is, again, quick shortcut, take you right to Google search. You can do this on any screen. So if I'm in this app right here and I hold the circle and drag it up, I'm going to tap use default so it won't do this again. Let's try it again. Messing up my demo here. All right, so I'm in this app. I have my finger on the circle and just swipe up. It's going to take me right to Google. And then I can even say, okay, Google, what time is it? That's probably the one question you wouldn't ask because it's going to tell you up at the top of your screen. But basically just showing you that on any screen that you're on, just swipe up on the circle and then, okay, Google, did the Spurs win today? Yes, San Antonio Spurs beat Golden State Warriors 87 to 79. Bam, it's just that easy, okay? So um, that's a really great thing to use. Even if you're looking, look, trying to look up directions, you can tell it to play music, turn on the flashlight. You can tell it all kind of things. All you have to do is say, okay, Google first, and then um, it will start listening. So, all right, our next hidden feature is a really simple one we already have it enabled which is it's being able to see your battery percentage uh right at the top of your screen no matter what screen you're on i know that all the stylos don't come loaded this way so i wanted to show you guys how to turn this on just in case yours doesn't already show you the percentage of where your battery's at so let's swipe down from the top upper right corner go to settings and let's see if we tap on these dots here nope that's not what we're looking for Okay, so display, and then the tough thing is every phone really puts this in a different place. So you gotta know where it is. I believe this is in battery, actually. Okay. It, oh, I tapped the wrong, I tapped storage, that's why. Here we go, okay, so settings, battery and power saving, and you wanna make sure this is checked battery percentage on status bar. By having this checked, it will always show you what percent exactly your battery is at so you know um, how to, you know, if it's time to charge or whatever. And one more thing I would encourage is, is have this battery saver automatically turn on 15%. So let's, gonna, let's uh, check this box right here. And now when your phone gets to 15%, it will automatically go into battery saver mode, which will help you um, basically save your battery from draining down too quickly. So, little thing there. And our final uh, tip is just, we wanna show you how to use the, the multi-window or multitasking. And simply just by tapping on the square and then tap on dual window, this will actually allow you to have two apps open at one time. So um, this is our list of all the apps that are compatible. So for example, I can have Google Chrome and I can have Google Sheets, which is really cool if you think about it because let's say you wanna search the internet and you wanna work on an Excel spreadsheet or there's a lot of funner scenarios like let's say maybe you wanna watch YouTube and you wanna search the internet up here and I can tap this, switch them around. So I can actually have a YouTube video playing at the top here and then at the bottom, or even you can, again, rotate it sideways, but um, I can be on this side and search Google. I would say a little bit harder to type this way, so you gotta figure out the best way to make it work for you. But it's just nice to be able to run two apps at once. You know, watch your YouTube video, and down here, you can still be searching the web. So, 
Anyway, guys, this has been just uh, some tips and tricks on the LG Stylo. Uh, keep an eye out for our next video. We're going to show you some hidden features. If you like what you saw in this video, there's a lot more things this phone does, and you'll see those in the hidden feature video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if the video was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos. And if there's something you want to see on this phone, shoot us a message in the comments so we can put it together for you. All right, thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one. No.